It only took less than 20 seconds. Three men in dark clothing captured entering a store in Woodbridge. What you don't see is the moment they unloaded bullets at the counter that killed 21-year-old store clerk Marisol Coca Romero. No asaltaron. And it happened so fast that she didn't have time to to understand what was happening. Eight years later, the Plantanillo's grocery and jewelry store sits empty, but the memories still haunt this woman who wants her identity concealed. With the help of a translator, she tells WSA 9 she was the other store clerk standing next to Coca Romero. She was shot in the stomach and survived. Yo toqué sus it was really scary that, uh, that when it came, but uh, she, uh, with the little strength that she still had, she uh, called and told her like uh, everything was going to be all right. Police say the suspects rushed out without taking a single item, random or targeted. It's a question still under investigation. Until we have suspects identified and we know about kind of the timeline of what occurred and why it occurred, I, I don't think we, we're, we're going to speculate. We're going to keep our keep our options open. Prince William County investigators hope the anniversary of her death will motivate someone to come forward. Coca Romero came from El Salvador. Her friend says she was pursuing the American dream. She was like a like a, any, any uh, young adult, like, you know, so bright, happy. Her life was just starting and she was trying to make something for herself. Making something for herself and her new baby. Coca Romero was a young mom who left behind a 10 month old girl. The daughter is now almost nine, being taken care of the same friend who last saw her mother alive. She's trying to look for the moment to tell her the truth, but she's having a hard time. Eight years later, the motive behind these 20 seconds remains a mystery. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.